Hey, what's going on everybody? Shemook here, and today we are re-explaining what the obelisks do in Smite. So, uh, this is what their redesign looks like. Hold on, let's get a good, uh, view for the thumbnail there. Uh, Mr. Dog, you might wanna... Um, so this is what the obelisks look like now. Um, of course, in my earlier explanation, the obelisks remain the same. This is where your offerings will be stored. And then, um, of course, if you go into the enemy jungle... In the exact same spot here, just mirrored, uh, this is where the enemy's offerings will be stored and where you can steal them. And I will try to show that this is time. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. So, what are offerings exactly? Okay, my timing was a little off. But here you go. If you've seen these around the map, uh, as these little chalices around the mini-map there. And this is what they are. They're little bushes that you can walk in and you're invisible in. I mean, these are, these are nice for little outplays, little, little cheeky stuff. Of course, that's more relevant uh, around, like, in the enemy jungle or around these mid ones here. But okay, if we kill this... We can do this by using an ability or one basic attack. One ability, one basic attack. And it'll drop this. So this is an offering. Pick it up. And your team is granted um, 10 XP, 10 gold. Not a whole lot. But it fills that up. Okay, let me kill her. And as you can see here, it's the same deal all across the map. The offerings are exactly the same. These bush things, exactly the same. Kill them in the exact same way. Of course, there are more offerings this time around, and of course they're easier to steal because all you have to do is auto attack at once. Yeah, so you can actually fill it faster than the older obelisks because they're just easier to get. So that's nice. And of course you can see with the placement here, a laner could pick those up or a jungler. I mean junglers are probably going to be doing the middle one here, maybe around here. But like soul laner could pick that up, uh, dual lane could pick that up. So, you know, they spaced it out a little more smartly this time so it's not something only junglers are able to do. Okay, embarrassingly, I almost died to her, but I got her to pick up an offering so I could show you guys what this is like. So you can steal, still steal offerings from obelisks. They work in almost exactly the same way. These things deal, deal true damage. You just gotta sit in here for a little while. So it's just, um, <clears throat> it's like, ow. And there it is. Drops right here. Boom. And of course, um, more offerings will drop in the same spot. If there's a, if you stand there for more offerings, but of course that's gonna hurt a lot. You spend a lot of time doing this. Probably only want to do one at a time. If you're like a, and of course you want to do this if you're like a support or maybe a tankier jungler like Erlong here, because it uh, takes a, it takes a good chunk of your health there, buddy. Okay, and just like that we have filled up our obelisk. Now what's gonna happen this time? No more injured scepter. What just happened? What is that? You gonna see that in the, in the lower left? What is that thing? Let's go back to base and check it out. Okay, enough being cheeky. What is this? This is the trebuchet, and it is going to sit at the back of the phoenix of the lane, which has the highest amount of enemy structure health. So, say, um, say there was no tower here, that would mean that uh, this would this would have the lowest health overall, since it would have no tower at all, so zero health, and the health of the tier two and the health of the phoenix, and then these guys would have low health tier ones, but it would still count towards their overall health of that lane. So the trebuchet is just going to sit here. It's not going to do anything. To activate it, someone, anyone, absolutely anyone, just has to walk into it. So, of course, someone wants to back or someone is already backing, they could just walk over here and activate the trebuchet. Obviously, it's a little, uh, you know, if you're a soul laner, you come all the way over here to do it. You're, you're wasting a good chunk of time, but I would say it's worth it. So let's let's just walk along with the trebuchet. Okay. So the trebuchet is just going to, it's just going to push this. And, you know, let's just speed it up. Let it do its thing. Okay, so it's not exactly Sonic, nor is it Einstein, and it damages itself every single time that it, uh, you know, throws something, and you can body block it, which I think is quite funny. Uh, and it also gives you a, a little little aura there, which uh, no one's no one's ever going to do that. But okay, basically all this is is just a free little bit of extra lane pressure. It's not a ton, but it's definitely felt. Of course, it's uh, dealing, to them, de dealing damage to itself every single time it fires. Not exactly great, but... Look at that. I mean, that damage to that tower was significant. So the enemy team kind of has to either accept the fact that they're going to lose a lot of lane pressure and just uh, maybe even lose a tower off of it, or they just say, hey, screw it, and go over there as maybe one or two people and then try to uh, try to fight it. Because if you want to be on someone with a trebuchet, the person with the trebuchet is going to win. They're going to get more lane pressure. I mean, unless unless you're like in the mid lane as like Anubis or something. So it's, it's quite strong. It's not the strongest thing in the world. It's not game changing, but you know, neither was Indra's Scepter. I think this is a, I think this is a solid um, sort of in between, but regardless of whether or not you pick up the trebuchet, as you can see here, the obelisk is already halfway uh, to being 
what the hell is the word I'm looking for. And, but anyways, it's another six minutes. Basically, from the minute that the trebuchet spawns, there's six minutes and then the obelisk will respawn and then the offerings will respawn as well. And they'll both be back and you can play the whole offering thing again. Oh, okay. I was a little busy, but um, <clears throat> the obelisks are, have just come back. And as you can see, the offerings are in the exact same place. So no switching of where the offerings are. That was, that was a little silly with the old obelisk system. So the offerings are back. The uh, mist is back exactly where they were before. So, yeah, nothing too complicated there. Now you're just going to fill it up again and get another trebuchet. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that these offerings will respawn. They will not be gone for good once you've uh, killed them during one obelisk cycle. They will come back. Oh my god, I filled the obelisk again. How do I do it? Okay, now it should go into the right this time. I made sure of that. So there you go. Now the trebuchet is in right, and now it's going to start pushing right lane. And, um... You know, I really think that's about it. It's a it's a very simple system now. Uh, so you might like when when how you play around offerings and stuff. You just get them. You just do them. Anytime there's an offering near you, you get it. It's a little bit of extra gold, a little bit of extra XP, um, and obviously you playing how you okay. The trebuchet is a big thing. How do you know when to play on the trebuchet? Um, since it spawns, uh, it has its own rule for spawning. You know, it spawns in the lane with the most health structure. That's not always what uh, where you'd want it to spawn. But, um, you know, sometimes you just leave the trebuchet to do its thing, get a little, little little bit of lane pressure, push up the lane a little bit in a struggling lane. Or sometimes you want to hard push with it. It's really just, it's like giga situational. It's it's impossible to say for sure when you want to uh, play around with a trebuchet. But, you know, I think the number one thing to keep in mind is the trebuchet's not that strong. Like, it'll die pretty easily to any mage. And um, if an ADC starts auto-attacking this thing, it's going down pretty quick. But, you know, I'd also say in the same vein, don't underestimate it. It can really put down a lot of lane pressure if you don't respect it. So if you see one of these things uh, running down a lane, maybe ask someone or go over there yourself to try and kill it. And uh, I think that about wraps up Offerings, Obelisks, and the Trebuchet. Uh, if you have any additional questions, of course, just leave them in the comments. And uh, I or hopefully someone else uh, can answer it for you. I gotta kill her again, don't I?